Welcome to your airplane news update. This is the week of March 15, 2021. This week, I get three topics, three-ish. Uh, the first one is we're going to talk about uh, travel announcement, travel records that we broke over the last week, which is a really, really good sign. Uh, we'll talk about the P-Hack that's getting an update and a few other things that are getting an update as well. And then I'll talk about some, I did, I called it a few briefs, aircraft briefs. Uh, it didn't fit in one story, so I'm making one story with three different sub-stories in it. So let's get to it. <laughs> First thing this week is good news. We are finally starting to break some records in terms of uh, passenger employment. Employment is number of passengers that are traveling over a specific period of time. Uh, last week, we saw on Friday, last Friday, 1.4 million people traveling uh, across the United States, which is uh, which is good news. Uh, the, these are the numbers that we've been waiting to, to see for a while. Um, if you were here last week, I talked about uh, the pilot shortage that's uh, possibly around the corner in a year or two when we start to rehire. Uh, I've seen a lot of airlines starting to post that they're starting to have uh, uh, class dates, calling back people uh, to go fly. So this is really, really good. Uh, it's a positive trend, I should say. Uh, this is on the downside. This is only 62% of the number of passengers that we had at the same time in 2019 when we had a normal year. But but we got to start somewhere. These numbers are going up, so this is good. Uh, obviously, a lot of these numbers can be attributed to Texas and Florida that have uh, kind of relaxed their uh, COVID-19 restrictions. And, uh, and of course, this is spring break this week, so a lot of people are traveling for that. So uh, going to these two locations. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the numbers kind of uh, change and uh, or increase or decrease or don't change uh, based on seeing more people going to these locations. The next thing is the PHAC, the Pilot Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, is uh, getting an update, but it's not getting an update for a while. Uh, I got a, a piece of document from the FAA, kind of stumbled on it, and uh, found out a little bit of information. They're, they're going to have updates on the Airman Certification Standards uh, for remote pilots. So those of you that are uh, on, the, on the drone side, you probably know about this already if you've been following me on the, on the drone channel. There's updates on the ACS, Airman Certification Standards, for private instrument commercial for a helicopter, but no changes for airplane. So if you're studying for uh, airplane, private, commercial, or instrument, there's no real changes coming up, which is good, which is kind of expected. Uh, we had a big update several years ago on the ACS, so not happening. Uh, there are some documents, some uh, handbooks that are coming up for uh, updates. We have the airplane flying handbook that's getting a, an update in June of 2021. So that's around the corner. Uh, when that happens, we'll have a full review and we'll update our course at the same time. The PHAC, Pilot Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, September of 2022. Now I find this interesting. Uh, ever since I've been in aviation, it feels like we've had updates to the PHAC every four years. The last update that we had was 2016, and uh, now we have another one six years later in 2022. So September 2022, mark your calendars. Uh, in the meantime, if you are buying the PHAC, by the way, this is a question I get from my students all the time. Uh, should I buy the 2021 version? Well, guess what? There is no 2021 version. 2016 is still the latest version. So if you go on Amazon, be careful. Chances are if somebody is selling the 2021 version, they're selling something that's not 2021, uh, and they're probably selling it at uh, extra cost. Uh, a lot of people are getting black and white p-hacks when they buy them on Amazon. Uh, if you're in our course, I put links down uh, in, the, uh, in the comments below the video so you can buy the right p-hack. So don't buy black and white, it's completely useless. Um, last book that's going to get updated is the Instrument Flying Handbook, and it's also in September 2022. So uh, if you're studying for instrument, you've got a little bit of time before we see any updates right there. Okay, let's get some uh, short, brief news uh, that I've seen that they don't really have their own part in the news update, so I'm, I'm just uh, gonna talk about three of them. Uh, the first one is the Air Force is testing the Starlink internet system from uh, from SpaceX. And SpaceX right now has 1,200 satellites flying up there, and the goal is to provide high-speed internet to anywhere in the world. And, and I love the project in a sense because this could bring internet to places that otherwise can get internet, fast internet, uh, in rural areas, in, uh, 
in, in, in countries that otherwise don't have the infrastructure to get high-speed internet. So I think this is actually a great thing. Um, so the Air Force is testing this on their aircraft to see if there is a potential for using this for defense purposes. So I thought this was interesting. I, I was going to mention it. Uh, Textron is uh, finally getting approved FA certification for the, the, the King Air 260. And the King Air 260 is, is larger than the, the previous King Air. The C90 series was quietly put aside uh, a couple months back, and then now they have the 260. Uh, it comes with uh, auto throttle, it comes with uh, pressure control, a new pressure control, and then a pressurization control, I should say, and then a weather radar uh, that's been updated as well. So um, that you guys should know. And uh, if you like aircraft, you can see a picture of the cockpit right here. It's got a lot of buttons and, uh, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, another aircraft that is in testing now, this hasn't been approved by the FAA just yet or certified, is the Dassault uh, Falcon 6X. This is a 16-passenger jet, and uh, they did their first flight in Bordeaux, France, uh, flying at 40,000 feet, flying at Mach 0.8, which is, uh, which is pretty fast for one of these jets. And um, this comes after uh, some pretty tragic news from Dassault, uh, where the, one of the grandson of the founder of Dassault, uh, Olivier Dassault, uh, died in a helicopter crash last week in the north of France. And that came kind of uh, as a, um, well, obviously as a surprise, but uh, he was an active pilot. He actually has a lot of uh, speed records that he set with the Dassault aircraft. And uh, he was also a politician in France and a lot of things. So this is uh, kind of a big deal. Uh, but the aircraft in itself can fly 5,500 nautical miles. So a big, big range, uh, top speed at 0.9 uh, Mach and then uh, 51,000 feet of altitude. So uh, not a small aircraft. If you've ever seen a Dassault jet, it, they're just absolutely beautiful. And they've made their reputation based on that. Just a, a beautiful aircraft inside and outside. So I uh, thought I would mention this. That's it. That's all I have for you guys this week. Uh, as always, like, subscribe if you're not uh, subscribed to the channel just yet. We do this every week at the same time, same release time every Friday morning. Uh, keep you guys up to date on what goes on in the airplane industry. Uh, we also have a drone one if you are not familiar. We have a drone channel where we talk about drone news. And uh, this week we're talking about some proposed regulation in Utah that's pretty bad. Uh, leaked drone that's uh, for a DJI and a bunch of other topics. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, head over to the other channel. We're almost at uh, episode 100 over there. Uh, this one is a fairly new news update, but the other one we've been doing for, uh, for a while now. So, okay, that's all I have. As always, fly safe, and I'll see you guys next week.